Hello guys, I'm Awana Coffee. We got today's gaming news for week two here on the Gamers Channel, and we'll be right back after this quick intro. The first news story we have today is that Google buys Twitch, which we've known for a while now. Uh, it's been a couple months ago it kind of leaked out and it was finalized last week. But now that it has happened, there's been a lot of backlash from the Twitch community as Google is starting to implement some of its practices that they do on YouTube. Like now, a video on demand, if it has copyrighted music, it will literally mute the entire portion of that video, including whatever the person who is streaming says or the gameplay. And uh, a lot of backlash behind that. I see why they're doing it. They don't want to get sued, so it really it helps the streamers out and it helps Twitch out. Not you know, because Twitch can't be sued, because then they could lose money and then they'd have to shut down. But Google's got the money to handle any lawsuits, but they don't want to have to deal with that either. So this is what they're doing. And I see more stuff like this coming. I think eventually we might not even be allowed to use copyrighted music in streams. You could actually probably get flagged for that now and actually have your Twitch account suspended. So I would say from this point on forward, if there's any streamers out there, I would really suggest you just don't, just avoid copyrighted music at all, uh, at all, as much as you can. Um, as far as, I think the Google Buy is still um, something that could benefit Twitch, because Google has the technology and the, you know, research behind how to make better videos, whether it be streaming or why stream or just like streaming from a you like on a YouTube basis and uh, I'm still a little surprised that it was allowed to go through because Twitch and Google are both the heads of you know their general fields of online video sharing whether it be live streaming or just on demand so I was a little surprised when it actually happened I didn't think it would but now that it is we'll see what other issues might arise or what things uh, streamers could gain from the acquisition so as it would seem another accidental leak came out today and I always think these leaks are very unaccidental usually because what happens is something like this where Activision store accidentally releases the PC requirements to play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare now before I tell you what they were I'm thinking they were gonna be high and I'm not saying they're not high but they're not as demanding as I thought so right off the bat you need a 64-bit Windows 7 or Windows 8 as your operating system Intel Core Duo uh, 2.6 gigahertz or an AMD Phenom X3 at 2.4 gigahertz but they recommend an Intel i5 680 at 3.6 gigahertz um, RAM is six minimum is six gigs of RAM but it recommends eight uh, hard drive space you need is 400 gigabytes I'm sorry, 40 gigabytes, 400. Uh, for your graphics card, it's NVIDIA GeForce GTX GTS 450 or an ATI Radon HD 5870 or better, though they recommend an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760 at 4 gigabytes. Uh, sound is DirectX compatible sound card. So that's what leaked. This is uh, the first Call of Duty by Sledgehammer Games. The reveal trailer is coming out today for the multiplayer. We will have coverage on that. Hopefully you don't have to wait till next Monday, but we'll see how this works out. And that's basically the leak for the what will be the graphics or what will be the PC requirements for the new Call of Duty. So Gamescom officially starts today in Cologne, Germany. Uh, today will be the Xbox-backed Sledgehammer game multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, like I said before. Tuesday will be a day that is showcased by Microsoft and Xbox and all their announcements that are coming and PlayStation 4 as well. Wednesday will hold presentations for Electronic Arts and Konami to talk about Battlefield Hardline, which got delayed till 2015, and Konami's uh, Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. So not much is not much is known right now. Those are like the definite things that will be talked about. And, uh, sorry, <laughs> and, um, that's basically Gamescom is here. I'm hoping we see more stuff. I was a little disappointed with E3. Um, a lot of games that were supposed to come out this year were either delayed or we didn't hear from them at all. And hopefully this helps kind of bring a little light to the next-gen consoles. It's been a really rough start, I would say, for them with between... They're, they didn't really have any launch games, and it doesn't look like they have a lot of games for this year. There are a few coming out, but we'll see how it goes.
Anyway, guys, I'm Awana Coffee. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the gaming news this week. Can't wait to see you next week, and have a great day.